hey guys welcome back to my another video in this video i'm going to show you the how the rxjs or the share replay work and this is one of the really good operator which we could use in our applications so i'm going to use the of course the angular project here and my project is running on the localhost 4200 at this time so now let me go back to the vs code and this is a vs code and this is a plain project the boiler plate that is a comps with the the angular app here so the first thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go i'm gonna show you the files here and so this is a html file here this is exactly what is shown in top back there so now let me go to the app.ts file and give you a quick example of the how the share uh, replay works i'm not gonna create any of the html template here i'm just gonna use the console log for this demo okay so now let's begin so the first thing let me write the uh one uh call to the apis so what I'm, I'm gonna do the first thing is let me go to the modules here and I'm gonna put the HTTP client modules because I need the uh, the HTTP client to call the APIs so now let me import this from 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 angular slash common slash HTTP okay so now I do have a, a HTTP client module inserted. So now I could able to call in constructor. Let me write the uh, private uh, HTTP client, HTTP client as a dependency injection. Okay. Okay. Now I I do have a HTTP client. So now let me implement the interface here, which is ng on init interface so i could uh, use the life cycle of the uh, component here ng on it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to call the http client i'm going to use the get function to to call the apis so what i'm going to use the uh, there is a free api test api to test which if you can search it and this one the json placeholder where i could use it for just to test it so i'm going to use the, this guy here and for this one so now it will only give me the exact same result every time when i call it and this is exactly what i needed so now i'm gonna put this on an http client here and this is gonna return me the observables so i'm gonna create as observables here right observables and if i do a observable dot subscribe then i should get the data here right So here it is this is a data with which i receiving in my component which is good everything looks good here but let's assume that you want to call this observable do you want to call this uh, the, the, the first thing else of course we will create a separate file as a service and we will call it which is a prop appropriate uh, way to 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 call the apis here but i'm just calling directly on a component just to uh, show you how this share replay works right but let's assume i want to call this apis uh, again using a subscribe function right i want to call this api again and i want to let's assume i'm just want to get some couple of data here and in these different functions i want to get the other data right such as some first one i want to get a user id and second one maybe i want to get a title something like that right if any at any time when we would when you guys like to call these uh, APIs like twice using a subscribe method, then what really happen in the back end here is basically it's calling a two request to the server, right? It, it's calling a two request for the same uh, response, right? If there is two requests is calling of a server, and if you wanna don't wanna call that, then what you can use is to share replay. So you can share the the network calls or rest or basically you can share the the calls to the apis and share replay is also in one of the operator which we need to import from uh, rxjs rs rxjs operators okay it's called share replay so i'm going to use the share replay here and i'll just shape it so now let's see what happened so if i call this function now let's see i could i can only able to get one call and here the two call is been subscribed so whenever we want to get a stream of the data using a subscribe 
and we do want to call this at well, more than one then we could use a share replay to share among all the subscribers the same data so this is a really quick tutorial guys and i hope you guys learn something how the share replay really works i'm going to put a more programming tricks and tips on this videos in this channel i mean and if you guys like it this video and learn something new then please do subscribe my channel and like my videos that's all guys cheers